I mean, doesn't it feel stupid to be attached to a manifestation? Because it does. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Manifest It Then I Saw on YouTube. My name is Manifesting Guy. That is my Twitter, TikTok, and podcast. All the links are down below. Time tips are down below. And I'm coming at y'all on a Tuesday. I've just had a lot of time to film. And I was like, why not give three videos a week? This isn't like a regular thing, though. Today, we're going to be talking about... How to take your desires off the pedestal, how to know your desires on the pedestal. This is way more common than you think, so you're not alone if you relate. But we're just going to get into it. How do you know your desire is on a pedestal? That is easy. You don't feel worthy of receiving it. You don't feel like you can receive it. You don't feel like you can have it. You feel like it's hard to manifest. And for that reason, you want that desire the most. So if I ask you, if you could have any desire right now, what, what would it be if you have an answer and you're like oh i want this specific person i want the house i want this car I, I will give everything up for it that's what's on your pedestal and that's what we need to stop because you've, you've probably been manifesting it for a little bit now and you're not seeing results and you want to see results so let's get you your results when your manifestation is on your pedestal your dominant beliefs might sound a little bit like how when i've been doing it for this long you may be like looking up binging manifestation videos. When your manifestation is on the pedestal, it makes it close to impossible to manifest. You feel like it's never going to manifest. And if you do, you f either you get scared that it's going to leave or you get scared of your own power. Um, or you're manifesting in partial results, hot and cold. You manifest it in a little bit of movement, but then you haven't seen anything and it's been another month. And we don't want that. So first... You have to ask yourself, why is this desire on the pedestal? Why do you feel like you need it? What difference would it really make in your life? Why don't you think you can get it? There is no answer that can justify putting anything on a pedestal. I don't care your circumstance. I don't care your situation. I don't care what the three is showing you. I don't care how much time you have to get it. I don't care. But the real answer to that question is, or those lines of questions is you have lost your sense of self-worth you don't see yourself as capable maybe you know you have power but you don't feel like you have the power to manifest that thing you feel like it's hard you feel like it's unchangeable the situation the person is unchangeable you feel like it's not possible to get it with the current circumstances you're in uh, maybe it's never happened for anybody before maybe it's never happened for anybody in your family maybe it's never happened for you know that you d whatever you're manifesting like i said i don't care the circumstances the 3d how much you do not you absolutely do not need it you do not need it because you think you're you need it you're attached to it for example you need food to survive you need water to survive you need your eyesight your whatever to you know function well but you're not attached to it you don't worry about when your next meal is going to be. There are people that worry about when their next meal is going to be. And those people usually don't have food for a long time, right? Right? That's a prime example of when you don't stress about something, you get it. You know that it's a necessity. Like, if you don't have water for three days, you will collapse. Why are you not stressed about it? Why are you not stressed? Like, I'm saying that really lightly, but, like, why am I not stressing it to you? Like, you need water. You need food. Because you're not attached to it. You're not attached to it. So when you say, but I do need it, I do need it, I do have rent, I do have, I do have this, like I need it. You need a lot of things. Yes, you need a lot of things in your life, but you don't have to attach yourself to them. Why are you attached to something? You're not attached to air or water or food because you know you're going to receive it. You know you're going to receive it. If you knew for certain, which you should because you are, that you're going to receive your manifestation, you would not stress and it would not be on the pedestal and it would come ASAP. Next, get a grip. Get a grip. You have lost your sense of control. You have lost your sense of self-worth. You are in control. The circumstances have to conform. The three has to conform. This person, this thing, this job, this place has to conform. It is the law. You are the operant power. You are also controlling its lack of confirmation. So if it's not conforming, it is you. That's on you. It is not on the circumstances. The circumstances is not hard. I could come in and manifest I could be in the same circumstances as you and manifest me out of it today because I'm not attached to your circumstances. You, the circumstances will conform. That should not be your prime focus. You should be your prime focus. Your thoughts, your beliefs, how you're confident, your self-worth, your self-concept should be your prime focus because that is the only thing that is stopping you from receiving. Not the circumstances, 
your sense of self. It is always you versus you. It is always you versus you, not you versus your circumstances, not you versus money, not you versus this person, not you versus this job. It is you versus you. Stressing about your circumstances, stressing about your manifestation does not make it manifest faster. I think that's pretty obvious. You need to relax. You are your biggest competition. You get out of your own way. It is coming to you. There is literally zero reason why you should be offering any resistance. When you know something is yours, when you know that the food, your dinner you're going to have tonight is yours, when you know that the water you're going to have in an hour is yours, when you know that the house that you live in is yours, there's no reason to stress. There's no reason to stress over something you know it's yours. Okay, you don't see it. It's not in front of you. Like, they're not reaching out. Like, the money isn't here. But, like, who cares? It is yours. It is yours. It is yours. The time doesn't matter. Stop focusing on 3D circumstances. It is literally yours. I don't know what I know you have to see it to believe it, but there's a lot of things you haven't seen that you believe in. The second you change your thoughts, things start to align instantly. The second you change your thoughts, literally tell yourself for 10 minutes, set a timer on a loop, everything's always working out for me. Tell yourself that on a loop and things will change. You don't have to see change for change to happen, right? Have you ever tried to watch the sun go down or like watch the color and the skies change? I try so hard sometimes. I'll be like, I want to see it move and I'll turn away and I'll look and it's like already down. Get your beliefs in alignment. Everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. When that becomes your dominant belief, or at least you believe it more than you believe stuff isn't working out for you, things will move. Not that you need the movement to confirm, but things will start to move. If you're letting outside forces control your state your and your vibration, number one, you're not stable. You're not stable in your beliefs. You're not stable in yourself. You're not stable in your self-concept, etc. Two, you're letting your manifestations are on a pedestal. And you're letting circumstances and time control how you feel towards your manifestation. Which is really like pick a struggle. Like either you're focused on the 3D and time or your manifestation on a pedestal. But for you to be in both, like pick a struggle. Pick a struggle. Let's work on one thing at a time. Let's work on one thing at a time. Circumstances don't matter. I don't even have to say it. Time isn't real. Don't even have to say that. You're attached to your manifestation. There's literally... No reason. This is why I say I cannot talk about self-concept enough. This is why I say take a minute to remember who you are. Everything's always working out for you. Sleep with um affirmation tapes on. Be in your visualization 24-7. Affirm to yourself that everything's always working out for you. It will feel stupid, but I mean, doesn't it feel stupid to be attached to a manifestation? Because it does. So why don't you feel stupid by doing something that actually works? Anyways, lastly... Remember that manifesting is literally as easy as one, two, three, but you are in control of the difficulty level. So if it feels hard to manifest, it's because you think it's hard to manifest. Literally tell yourself it's easy. Literally tell yourself it's easy. Remind yourself of the things you manifested before. Remind yourself of how easy it is to manifest. Remind yourself, go, remind yourself of the thousands of people who have manifested exactly what you want. Reminding yourself that you are next. It is possible for you. There is no reason to stress over something that's already yours. Take that shit off the pedestal. That specific person is nothing without you. That job, nothing without you. That car, that house, whatever, the money, nothing without you. Nothing comes and goes in your reality without you, without your consciousness. When you get put your consciousness on something, it will manifest. So put your consciousness on the fact that you already received it, you already have it. There's nothing to stress about. Nothing to stress about when you're a god. Gods don't stress out. So get into your god power and remember who you are and it's a baddie. And with that being said, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. I love you so much. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.